Hey guys, thought I would give, instead of seeing my face, a quick tour of my different bookshelves. So we're starting with Stephen King books, and then miscellaneous other uh, larger hardbounds. Um, there's some Lisa Scottolini right there on the right. And yes, I keep a lot of knickknacks on my shelves. Um, you can see some of these have to still be worked into the rest of the collection. Other ones I'm going to talk about at some point on this channel. You see right there is Sweetheart. That was an excellent book, and it's part of a series. Um, down here are obviously more books. Um, let me see. Oh, the, som the Somnambulist is all the way on the left. Of course, there's the Harry Potter ones. I remember really liking the som Somnambulist. Um, unfortunately, you can't really see these shelves because I have a whole bunch of stuff in front of them. But that starts my young adult collection, which continues up here. The Last Laugh was the second in the um, initial insult duology, which was pretty good. It's based on Edgar Allan Poe. Um, oh, there's The Hawthorne Legacy, which is the second book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. I've yet to read the third book, but I loved the first two. Next shelf, I got The Hunger Games. Um, let me see. Oh, Maze Runner. That was a good series. Ooh. Right here, I got Malice and Havoc by Chris Wooding, who also wrote The Ember Blade. Malice and Havoc. They're more middle grade books, but oh, those two were amazingly good. I really enjoyed reading them. And keep coming down. Yes, I have the Twilight books. Please, no commentary on that. There are some things that are guilty pleasures. Yet another bookshelf. These are more the um, adult paperbacks that I have. And again, more knickknacks and stuff. As you can probably guess, I collect a lot of hedgehogs. And we come over to the final two shelves. Or at least the final two that I'll show in this video. I have some more in the room, but again, a lot of stuff is in front of them. And yes, that is Uzumaki. That, that was an interesting one. Um, all of these shelves are, uh, let me see, I think the top two are the rest of the adult paperbacks, and then it's young adult stuff. And actually, I'll go back to this shelf really quick, because soon enough I will be talking about crochet stuff on my channel. Uh, here is a bunch of yarn, and more crafts that I'm working on. These are dolls that I'm making out of felt. Um, a Hot Topic box with a whole bunch of letters and stuff like that in it. Pipe cleaners and other, let me see, ribbon, uh, there's duct tape, just random craft supplies. Same thing there, I've got more felt, different beads, plastic canvas, more yarn. I think I'm working the pink and purple and white one that you see, I'm working on a hat. And alright, so that is the end of the bookshelf tour slash yarn stash tour. That's not all the yarn I have, I have a depressing amount of it. But anyway, hope to see you again later. Comment, subscribe, like, share the video, really helps me. Um, and I will be back soon for part three of the mystery books.